First thing I've done is applied BB cream and then after that what I'm going to do is add some primer. As usual you can use whatever kind of base you want but this is my favourite so that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. After that I'm going to take a blue eyeshadow and you want to take a flat shading brush, start on the outer corner of the eye and we're going to do a curve which is going to go above the crease and then around underneath the eye and then you want to thicken up that colour. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side and then you want to put a bit more blue on the brush and we're going to be applying this colour but in the inner corner as well and we're not going to be following the line that we've drawn on the outer corner instead you want to keep this as close to the very bottom of that lid and you're just going to apply the colour there and then you're going to take a slightly fluffier brush and just blend that out with the same brush you're going to do that on the outer corner as well blending it into the crease and then around on the lower lid Since the animal for Ravenclaw is a raven, we're going to be going for a literal winged eyeliner. So we're going to be drawing this quite thickly. I'm going to bring that line all the way down into the inner corner. And then on the outer corner, we want to do quite a thick, heavy wing, but we're going to curve a little bit. So instead of it being a straight eyeliner, it's got to curve a tiny little bit around and then point towards the very end of your eyebrow. And then on the lower lid, we're going to draw a few more wings and then thicken those lines up. Just like I did with the Hufflepuff makeup, we're going to be applying black eyeliner, but this is going to be on the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to go over that afterwards with an angled eyeliner and some eyeshadow and just really work that into the lashes. This is the part where it's going to be up for debate a little bit. In the films they use silver, but in the books they use bronze. And unfortunately, I didn't have a true bronze colour. I've got more of a goldy bronze. So if you can, use a bronze colour. And we're going to be putting this right in between those little wings that we've drawn. And then if you prefer the film version, just use silver instead. And you want to use a nail art brush or an art brush to do this. It makes it much easier. I'm also going to take that same bronzy gold and then line just on the middle of the upper lid and then blend that up further up the lid and make sure that those lines aren't too harsh. Now on the lower lid we're going to do a few little lines but what we're going to do is we're going to draw them a little bit like they're extensions of those feathers that we drew but then afterwards I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and just blending it out more towards the inner corner and making sure that those wings on the very outer corner aren't blended. Those have got to stay untouched. Now I'm going to repeat the whole process on the other eye. To balance out the whole look you either need some really massive lashes like this or you're going to need some lashes which are a lot thicker on the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to be using this pair and gluing them down. Now for the lips I'm going to be using exactly the same combination that I used for Hufflepuff but this time slightly differently. I won't be applying this lipstick all over the lips, instead I'm just going to do a gradient right down the centre of the mouth and then blend that out. And that's it, you're done.